Hey everybody, this is Jeff at Build an Aquarium Workshop and today I'm going to show you how to treat flatworms. Okay, now the flatworms in this tank, um, thought we got rid of them, but you know, they've come back. We've probably done three treatments um, and luckily they're not so bad right now that we're going to try to stamp them out if we can. And we are using the same thing that we've used before, which is this flatworm exit. Okay, you can buy, I bought it online. Uh, you could try your local retail fish store. Now, before you put this treatment in, the flat rooms go down to this. There you go. Now you can see them moving around on the blue mushroom. Okay, so those flat rooms will just look still. They don't move, okay? At least not really noticeably. But when you put the flat room exit in, okay, in about two, three minutes, they start running around and uh, you'll see eventually they curl up and they die. Treatment says about 30 minutes before that you see anything and uh, maybe to 45 minutes, but you run the treatment for several hours. I've run it for half a day, uh, maybe a little bit more. Um, the thing here is you wanna, if, when you use this treatment, it's four drops for every five gallons. So you just gotta do the math. The thing is, is that with uh, this, they tell you how, you know, do a partial water change before 25%. Definitely do one afterward, which I will be doing. I already did my partial water change like uh, a couple days ago, so I'm not going to do another one. And run your skimmer the whole time. Don't run any activated carbon, no uh, ozonizers, no UV sterilizers, nothing like that. And uh, you put the treatment in the water. I put it right where the power head was, and it blew it all around quickly, and these things started to run around. Uh, very very quickly um, and you'll use like I said you'll usually see them in the mushrooms but they they uh, I didn't notice when I had zoanthids that they go on the zoanthids but they're all definitely be on the on the xenia they're harder to see on the xenia but you'll see them on the stalks and they start running around there they're even in this um, hair algae rock I think some you know flew over there um, but anyway so that's your treatment okay um, so you definitely want to not underestimate this flatworms and here's the thing if you want to move corals over to another tank but you don't want the flatworms or you want to sell your corals I found the easiest way okay is to take the rock out or the coral out put it separate in a separate container and do the treatment and if you do like you know half a gallon then you won't be using much treatment and you can see them you can just sit there and watch them I put them in an acrylic container and I sat there watching these uh, worms die off now one big mushroom I had you know, after like 20 minutes, and I was kind of in a hurry, I was like, you know, got to get get going to uh, to a place. And after 20 minutes, this one was still alive, and I just put that mushroom back in the tank because it couldn't kill it. Um, but for the most part, you'll usually see them just die off, and then that way um, you can actually see when they're on there and when they die off. Or, or they just run off the coral, which is fine too. So if they run off the coral, then you know what? Um, you can go ahead and take that coral out. Uh, and then it's free. It's free from the uh, from the flatworm. And like I said, the mushrooms are really easy to spot. Other corals might be a little bit harder to see if they're off of there, like these pink xenia. Uh, but on the mushrooms, they're really easy to see. And I've done that. I've successfully moved mushrooms over to a show tank, and I don't have any flatworms in it. Um, and it's just because I treated them like that. Rather than treat the whole tank, which I'm doing right now, I treated a separate container. And that's the only way I could trust taking these out and just uh, and you have to observe it and look for them and see them either run off or die off before you can take the coral out of there and i tried a reef dip didn't work after 15 20 minutes the reef a reef dip didn't do anything these things are really that uh, durable now maybe certain reef dips will work i don't know but uh anyway we're gonna we put the treatment in here about mm, less than 10 minutes ago they're still running around and hopefully they will start popping off and running, uh, floating to the surface. Uh, and then, like I said, we've got several hours to go with this treatment. I think they recommend about six hours. And uh, when that when that happens, we'll do the partial water change. One other word of note: if you can, if you have any invertebrates in here, like snails, um, I lost one snail, and I would take them out. If you can take the snails out, anything like that, take them out, put them in another reef tank while you treat, uh, because uh, I did lose. Uh, one one or two snails. I think there were turbos regular turbos that I lost uh, But then I've also had another snail go through it and be okay. So hard Okay, so here we are 24 hours later uh, We're running the skimmer with carbon. We put the carbon in yesterday after the first few hours of uh, I would say probably six to eight hours 
of treatment. And so you, I don't see any, we're treating treatment of flatworms. I don't see any, um, if you look, looking at the mushroom because they're really easy to see on the mushroom. So I don't see any here on the mushroom or on the glass for that matter. We're gonna just start doing our water change. So we put the carbon in uh, after about six hours and then we're gonna go ahead and do um, the next day, it's been oh, about 24 hours, we're gonna actually do the water change now um, on the aquarium. So as of now, we're gonna call it a success. All right, just wanted to follow up with you guys in 24 hours and thanks and for watching and have a great day.